Cuba and American history tells the story of a tropical island that sits between the Atlantic Ocean and the Caribbean Sea, not far from the United States. It is a history of more than half a millennium, from before the arrival of Christopher Columbus to the death of Fidel Castro and beyond. Anna Ferrer, reading from her 2022 Pulitzer winning Cuba and American History on Saturday at the William Musto Cultural Center in Union City. The event was sponsored by the Hudson County nonprofit Cuban American Alliance for Leadership and Education. And it is a nonfiction book. It's uh, basically a history of Cuba from before Columbus to the present. And it's a history of Cuba that places um, that that story in relation to the history of the United States. So it's a, in, in some ways it's a history of both countries and their, their entanglements. And what prompted you to write this book? Well, it's my third book on Cuba. Uh, I was born in Cuba and have always had a fascination for its history, for, um, you know, for w how my family ended up here in the United States. And uh, I wrote my first book on the Cuban Wars of Independence, my second book on, on, the, on slavery in Cuba, but with the, I started writing it in 2014, which was right after uh, Barack Obama started opening up U.S. policy to Cuba. And I just felt like in that moment, we needed a new history of Cuba and of its relationship with the U.S. But it really is a detailed, in-depth, thorough, as unbiased as I think a, you know, a book can be on Cuba, which is very politically driven for the most part, but it's a very fair, uh, balanced version of what Cuban history is, and it's very expansive. It's not just one moment in time. It literally from Cologne, from when Colum uh, Christopher Columbus, excuse me in Spanish, when from when Christopher Columbus discovered uh, Cuba to uh, Obama and Trump era engagement and not with with Cuba and everything in between. Arriving in the United States as an infant in 1963, Ferrer graduated from Memorial High School in West New York. She wrote the book in five years, but it's based on research she began doing in 1990 during travels back and forth to the island. She currently is a history professor at NYU. For all of them, I want them to get a sense of how deep Cuban history is. It didn't begin in 1959 with Fidel Castro. It didn't begin with independence from Spain. It's got a long, rich, fascinating history, and I want people to be exposed to that. And one of the ways that I think about history all the time is that I focus on the people who lived it. So rather than just look at, you know, kings and presidents and Leaders, I try to look at people whose lives are really buffeted by, by, by large historical processes. So I want them to focus on, on Cuba as, as a place with a deep history and as a place with, full of people who cannot be reduced to political slogans. Their lives are much more complicated than that. In Union City, for HUD News, I'm Jeff Hennig.